Gaza's children are starving. Food insecurity on the brink of famine, just one aspect of this humanitarian crisis. Fear is intensifying. Civilian life will become harder if UNRWA, the largest aid organization on the ground that provides food, shelter and medicine, runs out of money. It's a death sentence, says this man. We will die. We will starve in the streets. Canada and the U.S. are among several countries suspending financial support after Israel alleged at least 13 UNRWA employees were involved in the October 7th attacks. UNRWA is riddled with Hamas members. UNRWA's largest contributor, the U.S., which provides hundreds of millions of dollars a year, says it will only reconsider after an investigation. I know that we need to see fundamental uh, changes before we can resume providing uh, funding directly to UNRWA. But lawmakers were urged to permanently sever ties with the aid agency during a contentious hearing that drew protests on Capitol Hill. Several witnesses presented long-standing complaints about UNRWA's operations alleging ties to Hamas. UNRWA is a horror show that is decades in the making co-produced by the United States taxpayer. Take the lead in dissolving an organization that is riddled with incitement to hate. The UN Secretary General called a special meeting to address concerns, urging countries to stand by the agency given UNRWA's reach on the ground. There's no substitution for the humanitarian role that is played in Gaza. We need to all ramp up given the totality of needs. The UN says it has a small window to get donor countries back on board, saying UNRWA will run out of money by the end of February, putting services beyond that time at risk. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.